Emery, you've had experience both in Turkey and and in San Francisco, and there are a lot of people that actually can't get to San Francisco. Um, and I was recently, I recently heard Martin Varshevsky, who is um, an Ar Argentine entrepreneur. He started a company called Fon in Spain. Um, he's gotten a lot of investments from Silicon Valley. And when he went to Silicon Valley, he be, they said, well, when are you going to come here and open up in, in the Valley? And he said, I'm not opening up in the Valley. And that really shocked a lot of people. Um, and I think you're seeing more and more a lot of people choosing to stay in their home countries. So they're choosing to stay and operate in Turkey, but have a global focus. Can you talk a little bit about um, and give advice to people who, who do want to start companies and don't want to actually be in Silicon Valley? Sure. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, he's partly right and he's partly not because uh, I mean, being in Silicon Valley definitely helps in terms of financing and marketing, you know, getting, I mean, building relationships with the media and and stuff like that. And uh, I mean, when I look at uh, groups history, uh, I remember back in 2005 uh, when I started it, uh, in 2006 actually we launched the, the, the site. Uh, I remember the, uh, the first day uh, after it was featured on DIG, we got uh, emails from really top uh, investors uh, from Silicon Valley, uh, including Union Square Ventures, and uh, I had correspondence with uh, Paul Graham from Y Combinator. Uh, I mean, it was interesting times, but uh, what happened was, since I was in Turkey, you know, I was in Istanbul at the time, they just passed uh, right away, I mean, right after, you know, hearing that. Uh, so, I mean, it's tough to be, you know, uh, an entrepreneur in this region. I mean, you don't get, you're not in the same, uh, um, you know, both with Silicon Valley entrepreneurs. Uh, you're a little bit disadvantaged in, in terms of financing. But, uh, I mean, when it comes to innovation, I think it can come from anywhere. It doesn't mean, it doesn't, it's not necessary that you're in Silicon Valley. Uh, I mean, our technical team is in Turkey, Istanbul, and uh, I'm Turkish. I spend quite a lot of time here. And uh, we innovate, and uh, you know there are lots of other companies who innovate outside Silicon Valley. Too, when you look at it, there is um, uh, Skype, um, you know, Spotify, right. all these things. Exactly. But I mean, this guy, I mean, Martin, uh, he's he's a rich guy. You know, he's an investor himself, so he doesn't need financing himself. So the things he said, maybe just uh, you know, his comments, his uh, maybe may just apply to his own situation but I think uh, I definitely recommend people here in this room to go to Silicon Valley and you know just spend maybe a week there and, and stay there. that's how I started I went to Silicon I mean I was in Princeton University uh, for an internship and then I just wanted to see I had seen Silicon Valley from a Geo National Geographic article uh, back in 2004 and then I just wanted to see what it looks like in you know with uh, plain eyes and uh, uh, and I, I bought a plane, plane ticket and I went there and loved it. And then, then it was easier for me to, you know, go back there uh, after 2006. So after all I, all the things I uh, experienced with investors in Silicon Valley. So, uh, I mean, could I, can I um, chime in on, on on this point? Absolutely. I think um, one of the factors which can, which, which is probably went into the Spanish entrepreneurs thinking is <clears throat> that that plays a role is that the diaspora um, effect. And by diaspora, I mean you know, Turkish Americans, right? Uh, whether or not they are coming back into this country, into their home country and building those bridges. Um, I'm from Pakistan originally, and uh, I often say that Pakistani diaspora is a lot engaged in Pakistan than the Turkish diaspora is in Turkey. In fact, I often feel, with all due respect to my Turkish American friends, I'm more passionate about Turkey in the valley than some of the Turks are passionate about Turkey in the valley. Not this Turkish American. I know, you and I both, right? So uh, my, my, my point is this, that if you look at India, or if you look at Israel, or if you look at Ireland, one of the major reasons, and also Taiwan, one of the major reasons those countries, their tech industries have taken off is because the diaspora made a commitment to come back home. Or if they didn't come back home, they were doing business actively with their home countries while they were in the valley. That's how they built it up. So the valley became more of a dynamic phenomenon. It right. became abstract. It went beyond its physical uh, zip codes. And that's precisely where we want to be. That hasn't happened with Turkey. It's happening now. It's great to see, you know, VC friends coming here. But after we saw this thing booming, not, invest, not investing with all due respect as the journey was happening, 
Um, so I think until that happens, it will be this temptation to go there. But I'm all for being here, for innovating from here. We are building stuff, and I'll get to talk about this in 30 minutes, from Istanbul that is world-class technology. You have incredible, incredible talent here. But if you could get the season management, some execution, um, and get the help of folks who have had the opportunity to go abroad, get experience, and, and apply those skills back home, that is terrific. So I'm, I kind of, I'm, I'm hesitant to, with all respect to some of my, you know, I think David, from your point of view, uh, it, it, it would just, you know, su suggest that you all should just go, um, and somehow we'll all come out uh, great. Um, with some, it would be the case. With others, it, it, it's, it's not going to be the journey. You know, there are soft factors too, you know, cultural factors, just the ease of place, things that you're used to. So I think if, if one could work with folks who have relationships abroad, and you know, in this case, diaspora, that could be, and, that, and, and, that, and for that, um, there's a lot of responsibility for people like yourself, um, you know, and others, uh, to some extent even by myself, to invest time here and apply lessons that we are learning.